So, um, let's uh, predict the formula of these ionic compounds that are formed from the combination of the ions that are formed from these atoms. Okay, so um, remember what we learned from the periodic table is that the group numbers are very helpful in telling us uh, what ion uh, these particular atoms are going to form. So remember, if you don't have a periodic table that gives you the names, you're going to have to remember uh, all of these elements. So sodium is Na and oxygen is O. Okay, so let's just write these elements first. Lithium, well let's do it this way. We'll write the elements and then we'll write what charges you would expect them to have. So sodium's group one, right? So you would expect it to have a positive one charge. And oxygen's group 16. So you would have to happen, or hope you would expect it to, if I can get that out, expect it to have a negative two charge, right? Because it's two away from the noble gases. So remember, you've got to add these two charges up to make a compound. Okay, so plus one, and they got to be even. They got to equal to zero. Plus one minus two equals minus one. So you're going to have to have two sodiums plus one oxygen. And when you write the compound formula, it's Na2O, like that. So when you combine them together, you're saying that there's two Na's for every one of these formula units. Okay. So let's do the same thing with lithium and bromine. So lithium is also a group one element. So Li is the uh, atomic symbol. Um, group one is plus one. Bromine is a halogen, so group 17. So it's going to have a minus one. Plus one and minus one add up to zero. So the formula unit for this one is lithium bromide, just LiBr. Aluminum, that's, um, prefers to have a plus three charge. Okay. And oxygen, we already know from the one before, prefers to have a minus two charge. Okay, so if we do plus three minus two, that's going to give us over here plus one. So that's not going to work. So we've got to figure out some sort of number that these things have in common, two and three. Okay, so um, what you can do is do three twos and two threes, and that would equal six, right? So three times negative two is negative six, and two times positive three is positive six. And those cancel each other out, six and negative six. So you don't write it like this, squished together, but you write it with subscripts. So it's going to be Al2O3 is the formula unit for um, the compound that's made by combining aluminum and oxygen. And then barium and fluorine, barium's group two. So it's going to have a two plus charge. Fluorine, halogen, group 17, minus one, plus two, minus one, don't equal zero. So we're going to have to put a two there to make uh, the formula unit of this, which is going to be BAF2. And in the next problem, I've been wanting so bad to tell you what their names are, but that's the next problem. So let's get quick to that one, and I'll tell you the names of these things. Because that would be the next thing you would have to do.